Meet Freddy in a quiet, splashy corner of Lily Pad Lake, lived a young, wide-eyed frog named Freddy. Freddy was curious. He asked questions. A lot. Why are my toes so sticky? Why do I croak when I'm happy? Why do I love the water and the land? One day, Freddy asked the big question, what makes me an amphibian? A rib bit of a quest Grandma Froga, the wisest frog in the pond, gave him a wink. To find the answer, you must meet the amphibian all-stars, she said. They live all around the world and know what it means to be like us. Freddy's eyes sparkled. A quest? I'm hopping in. So, with a backpack of bug snacks and his favorite water bottle, Freddy leapt off the lily pad and into the adventure of a lifetime. Slippery Salamander First Stop, Mossy Meadow There, under a damp log, Freddy met a shiny black and yellow salamander named Sally. You're an amphibian too? Freddy asked. Sure am, said Sally, flicking her tail. We both start life as little swimmers. I had gills once, like a tiny fish. I had gills too. Freddy croaked. Sally nodded. We grow lungs later and live on land. That's called metamorphosis. Freddy's fact number one, amphibians start in water with gills and change as they grow. The toad with the code next, Freddy hopped into a dry, crackly forest and bumped into a big, bumpy toad named Titus. You don't look like me, Freddy said. I'm still an amphibian, Titus said proudly. I like dry places more than swamps. My skin is thicker, and I walk instead of hop. Freddy scratched his head. So we can look different but still be the same kind of animal? Titus winked. Exactly. It's about how we live, not just how we look. Freddy's fact number two, toads are amphibians too. Amphibians come in many shapes and sizes. A tree frog with style in the rainforest, Freddy met a colorful new friend, a bright green tree frog named Tyka, who wore a flower on her head like a crown. I live in the trees, said Tyka. I have sticky toe pads to climb leaves, and I lay eggs on plants above water. Freddy gasped. That's so different from my pond. We amphibians are clever, Tyka giggled. We've learned to live in many places. Freddy's fact number three, some amphibians live in trees, some on land, some in water, but they're all amazing survivors. The secret of the skin as Freddy hopped deeper into the jungle, he found a glowing blue frog named Pax, sitting quietly in a patch of moss. I've heard of you. Freddy whispered. You're a poison dart frog. Pax smiled. True. I'm small, colorful, and dangerous to predators. How do you do that? It's my skin, said Pax. All amphibians have special skin. Some breathe through it, some soak up water with it, and some, like me, use it for protection. Freddy's fact number four, amphibians have thin, sensitive skin. It helps them breathe, stay moist, and protect themselves. Trouble in the swamp suddenly, thunder rolled overhead. The sky turned dark. Freddy heard a rustle and saw a snake creeping toward a nest of tiny new froglets near the riverbank. Freddy leapt to action. Hey, snake. You better back off. These babies are protected by amphibian power. Sally the salamander slid in with a tail flick. Titus the toad puffed up big and bouncy. Tyka leaped from the trees like a superhero. And Pax? He simply stared, glowing blue and dangerous. The snake slithered away in a hurry. The amphibians cheered. We protect each other. That's what friends do. Home again, wiser than ever at last, Freddy hopped home to Lily Pad Lake. He told Grandma Froga everything, about metamorphosis, thick skin, tree-climbing toes, breathing through skin, and teamwork. So now you know, she said, smiling. Amphibians are amazing because we live in two worlds, change as we grow, and help the earth stay balanced. Freddy grinned. I'm proud to be an amphibian.
please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Bye!